Hello, welcome to the allotment. I haven't been here for like, I think it's three weeks. So I'm not sure what we're gonna find. Oh my God. I can't see the turmeric. The turmeric has completely collapsed. I've still got a net up there. I haven't been here for so long because last week I was in Izu doing a trail race. Uh, the week before, I can't remember. Anyway, let's go and see what, uh, what's going on. Okay, here we go. Oh, it is icy. It's tiny. Well, there you go. I'm Frank Desley. Ah. Oh, and I'm Des Frankly. And we appear to be having a tea break. Is that right, Des? Ah. Oh, yes. We certainly are. Tea break, that's our statutory rights, isn't it? As workers. Isn't that what we fought for? You know, uh, the right to have a cup of tea. I don't know what you fought for. Yeah. I don't, have you, what have you fought for? Well, you know, I was fighting for my rights to party. Uh, yeah. You what? You know, you're out to party. The Beastie Boys. Don't you remember them? No, I do not, Des. I'm more of a folk fan folk myself, fan? you know. Coffee shops, Coffee. And strumming a guitar mm. with your best girl by your side. Ooh. Maybe a maybe an Eccles cake. Maybe as an well. Eccles cake, indeed, Frank. I know what you mean. Yes. How many Eccles cakes did you have? <laughs> oh, yes. Come on now, settle Eccles down. Cakes. There's work to be done here. Look at this. Oh, while yes. we're messing nice. about with cups of tea, yes. John is getting down Ooh, to yes. it. Unnetting. Unnetting. What needs to be unnetted. Yes, that what needs to be unnetted must be unnetted. Oh yes, that's what they say, don't they? They do. There's a song, isn't there? Oh, the yes. great unnetting. Yes. Let us unnet. Net. What needs, what to, needs be to be unnetted? Oh, that was great, wasn't it? That was um. 1983, Eight, wasn't it? It got into the top 10, the greatest yes. on netting. Anyway. Anyway, here's John now. What's under those nets? Yes. Everyone wants what to indeed? know. And there, Ooh. the reveal, the great reveal. Oh, that's fantastic. Is revealed. And it's, um, well, yes. it's some kind of cabbage. Some kind of cabbage. It's always some kind of cabbage, yes. isn't it, with John? Yes, you know. I mean... You know, there's nothing wrong with a good no. cabbage, though, is there? Absolutely no. Nothing wrong with no, a good cabbage. No. Every cabbage in its place, in and its every place. place has its own cabbage. Has its is own. That what they say? That is indeed what they say. Yes, I thought so. Says. And right. I feel our time is up. Oh, no. Let's go. Oh, quick. Quick. John's opening the box. Yes, it's frosty. Look at this. Ice. It was like, uh, it was minus one last night here in Tokyo. So in other places it was probably even colder. It has been quite chilly actually recently. Um, yeah, yesterday was really windy, but today the wind has gone and it's just sharp blue sky and uh, cool, but not unpleasant. That's the way I like it. Got a cup of tea in the flask in my bag. I'm looking forward to that. No biscuits. Uh, biscuits are at home. But um, anyway, you don't want to hear about biscuits. You want to hear about brassicas, don't you? So let me show you. Now we can get a good look at these magnificent broccolis. Look at the, look at the size of that. Just majestic. And oh, there's another one. Well. You don't see them much better than that. Unless we move down here, perhaps, and... Oh, yes. These cabbages look nice, don't they? I mean, they're all untouched. This is a guided mindfulness meditation with you guides. 
Frank Desley and Des Frankly. Let us guide you on the ocean of calm that is the allotment. Lie back and get really comfy. If you need a cup of tea, then that's fine. Chocolate biscuits will probably help as well. Imagine yourself walking through this allotment. Yes, walking through the allotment. And are there any biscuits left, actually, Frank? Because I could do with one just now. Well, actually, Dares, I don't think this is the right time to be talking about biscuits. We're supposed to be doing a mindfulness meditation. Yes, feeling quite sleepy. Relax and feel all the tension move away. Des, wait, Des, stop snoring. Des, wake up. Oh, goodbye. (laughs) Got a little bit of mud on my shoe here. Here we are at the turmeric. Maybe I should just cut this. Maybe not. Maybe I should let it all. I'll just tidy it up a little bit. I'm tempted to dig one up. I'd like a little bit for a uh, hot sauce ferment. Except the soils, maybe the soil's okay. Should we have a dig? So the stem is actually frozen, which I think is why it collapsed when we got the the cold weather. There you go. First turmeric of this year. Not bad. What are you going to do with it, John? Well, I might add it to one of my hot sauces, I think. That was the one of my plans, was add it to the fermentation. But um, as usual, I just grow it just for the sake of growing it, you know. And why not? It's like growing a flower. Like, why do people grow flowers? They grow flowers for the, well, for the color. (laughs) Why grow this for the color? I mean, it's a pretty good color, isn't it? Let's put that in someone's garden, shall we? Oh, it didn't go in. I'm gonna throw that in there. Garden, there you go. That'll grow next year. Grow, little thing. Rhizome, that's what it is. The day has come to pick all the balcony peppers. That's what I'm gonna do as the train rumbles past. They're going into there. Good shot, sir. There's one beautiful red jalapeno there. There you go. Look at that. There's this, this type. There's a jalapeno.
That's a lovely cup of tea. If I had a shed, if I had a shed, nothing needs to be said when you're in your shed. Right, that's it. I've done nothing except dig up that um, turmeric and uh, walked around and looked at everyone else's plot. Um, there was nothing else to pick. It's getting cold, everything's slowing down, but um, you know, slowly, gracefully, it's kind of uh, declining into winter, but people still picking lettuces, even though it was minus one last night. The lettuces look fine. <laughs> so, this is John on a very lovely blue sky um, mid-December day saying thank you very much for joining us here and uh, I'll see you next time. Maybe I'm sure we can get one more in before the end of the year. Yeah. See you then. Bye.